Old school, old school. Back to the way, back to the way that it was. So, um, I've been testing some technology, some other stuff and things, and I'm back to the old way because, uh, because the technical stuff is complicated. And um, if it works, use it and uh, don't complain about it, right? That's how, that's how it should go. So, um, this is a short presentation from the Academy of Language Therapy and Life Coaching. And I apologize if my voice is a bit destroyed. I just just came back from the dentist and I've been, well, ugh, mm, mm, don't want to talk about it. Mm, rough stuff, rough stuff. So, um, I'm happy that I can speak. Um, and that I can communicate with uh, with people out there. So, in my attempt to bring you something new, something different, something alternative, um, every day, we're going to have a quick look at something which has been in the news, apparently, in the uh, political sections of... Uh, uh, the mainstream media, there has been a lot of discussion in the last 24 to 48 hours about Mr. Trump's conflict with Mr. Obama, Mr. Obama's conflict with Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump says, you were listening to everything that I was doing, and Mr. Obama says, what are you, crazy? I'm too busy playing basketball and golf and trying to... <laughs> trying to work with Mr. Soros to do things like that. Um, anyway, um, as you can see, I'm completely biased. I don't apologize for it. Um, I don't care about being politically correct. I just care about being correct. So, um, so let's have a quick look and see if we can decipher, decode, and iron out some of the some of the problems here in um, this uh, th this issue. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Right. We will begin. It begins with a conspiracy theories journey. You should be able to see this on the screen in, in front of you, which is um, what the the mainstream media are describing President Trump's claims, his alleged claims as a conspiracy. Um, conspiracy is just simply a word that confuses people. Um, people think that it means it's not a fact when actually it means it is a fact. Um, this is uh, the way the propagan, propaganda works, isn't it? Right. Um, so let's take the next step. Um, New York Times have an uh, have had uh, had had an article January the 19th just before President Trump's inauguration and uh, the title was uh, intercepted Russian communications part of inquiry into Trump associates um, the point being that um, if if communications are intercepted basically they're saying that they're spying they're tapping so um, this is an admission by the mainstream media that uh, Trump's activities were being monitored. And this was while Barack Obama was still president of the United States. Hmm. Interesting, don't you think? Next. Moving along. The, uh, also from... Um, was this from the New York Times as well? I think it was. Um, the FBI is leading the investigations aided by the National Security Agency, the CIA, and the Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Unit. That's a huge wave of agencies. Anyway, the investigators have accelerated their efforts in recent weeks, but have, yes, because they're running out of time before Trump gets elected, 
in recent weeks but have found no conclusive evidence of wrongdoing, the official said. One official said intelligence reports based on some of the wiretapped communications had been provided to the White House. Hmm, provided to the White House. Hmm, saying you know nothing. Hmm, what do they call that? Uh, plausible deniability. Plausible deniability. Lying, basically. Um, note that the wiretapped communications had been provided to the wirehouse. Just the, the, the White House? The White House. I'm sure the White House is wired as well. Right. Uh, there you go. The intercepted calls are different from the wiretapped conversations last year. Wiretapped conversations last year. Between Michael T. Flynn, Mr. Trump's former national security advisor, and Sergei Kislyak, Russia's ambassador to the United States. So, once again, evidence from the mainstream media that uh, calls were intercepted, um, people were spied upon, and the conversations were recorded. In those calls, which led to Mr. Flynn's resignation on Monday night, the two men discussed sanctions that the Obama administration imposed, imposed, yeah, imposed on Russia in December. Hmm. So there we go. That's another just admission that uh, Trump was right. And um, you have to wonder, you have to wonder how deep the rabbit hole goes. But the cases are part of an American intelligence and law enforcement agency's routine electronic surveillance of the communications of foreign officials. Not just foreign, also domestic, because there's somebody on the other side of the communication as well. What are you going to do? Only record one half of the conversation? Okay, when are we going to get the truth? When are we going to get the truth? We're a long way from the truth. Um... If you've got an opinion about this topic, please write something in the comment box. Um, if you find the information interesting or enlightening, please share it. You can probably right click on the video, copy the URL and paste it somewhere else on your face. Book moving on. Um, media source Heat Street. Uh, had an exclusive story earlier this year. FBI granted FISA warrant covering Trump's campaign ties to Russia. FISA is the secret court that allows people to spy on each other. Um, and not only was a warrant granted to cover the Trump camp's ties to Russia and his uh, political campaign, also one of his top advisors, Roger Stone was monitored for one year uh, following a uh, permission granted by a FISA court. And so he was in close communication with Donald Trump. So once again, you can't record just one side of the conversation. So Trump was right. Back to the headlines. Obama administration rushed to preserve intelligence of Russian election hacking. Yes, when uh, the Democratic Party was promoting evidence of Russian election hacking, we lost because they got help from somebody else. Um, no, you lost because you ran a very bad campaign with a very bad candidate. Um, anyway, this uh, shows that the Obama administration knew what was happening and they were preserving, collecting and collating data and intelligence. This, the thing is that um, the mainstream media thinks you have a goldfish bowl memory that lasts about three seconds and you can't remember what they printed, posted or published two months ago. They might be right, you know, they might be right. So, on January the 2nd, administration officials learned that Mr. Kislyak, after leaving the State Department meeting, called Mr. Flynn, and that the two talked multiple times in the 36 hours that followed, which is Mr. Flynn doing his job answering the phone. 
and giving advice. American intelligence agencies routinely wiretap the phones of Russian diplomats. Right. And transcripts of the calls showed that Mr. Flynn urged the Russians not to respond, saying relations would improve once Mr. Trump was in office. According to multiple current and former, former officials, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Anyway, the main point is that uh, that <laughs> Obama's denying recording things, and everything is routinely recorded anyway. Yeah. Right. A um, little bit of back and forth communication on Twitter. Um, Howard Dean posted that um, uh, recently released information means the judge found probable cause that Trump was engaging in criminal activity and issued a warrant for a wiretap. Uh, probable cause, interesting phrase. Donald Trump responded, and this is how the whole furor started. Uh, terrible, just found out that Obama, Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism. Um, yeah, I'm not sure that Trump quite understood what he was getting into. The deep state is in fact a giant abyss. Uh, but now we can all see that, so thank you very much, Mr. Trump, for baiting the left with something that they just couldn't leave alone, could they? So, what does this mean? The FBI taps cell phone mic as eavesdropping tool. This has generally been known in the intelligence agencies and in the alternative media for the last 10 to 15 years. Uh, many books published on the subject. Um, if you haven't had your head stuck in a hole, you'd know that. Um, the agency used novel surveillance technique on alleged mafioso activating his cell phone's microphone and then just listening. So the microphone in your phone can be remotely activated, even remotely turned on, I believe. Yes, uh, CNN reported in their technical uh, publication uh, how the NSA can turn on your phone remotely. Um, I mean, it's just a global tracking device. Well, it began as a tracking device, now it's a listening device. Extremely useful, though. Right, you post nice little videos to Facebook using your mobile phone. <sighs> Every tool is a double-edged sword, I believe. Uh, finally, NSA whistleblower, whistleblower oh, oh, Ed Snowden is quoted as saying, From my desk I could wiretap anyone, you, a federal judge, or the president of the U.S., because everything is interconnected. We live in the massive data network matrix of everything. And we are approaching the singularity as a result. Anyway, the, the article uh, from mainstream media goes on to uh, <laughs> say from the, from the well, that's comforting department. Yesterday, it was revealed that Edward Snowden was the whistleblower who exposed some details of NSA surveillance capabilities, often going far beyond what people expected. Look, everything is two-way. The very first telephones that were put into homes 100 years ago were able to be used as external listening devices. It's not that new. It's not that special. It's not that great a revelation. But what we do need is people to tell the truth. Uh, if you haven't yet, um, it goes on to say you should watch the interview with Glenn Greenwald where he goes into more detail. Yes, so um, we've got the WikiLeaks now releasing information about, um, it's just basically collating the data about how the Samsung televisions with the microphone is always on. If you had um, a special cable box in the 
past a lot of them were installed with microphones that could be externally turned on um it's got it, it it's got to be insane right in fact looking around me i've got one two three four five six seven cameras which must have microphones attached to them as well and a further one two three oh god we do it to ourselves don't we we do it to ourselves uh, can't point the finger at anyone else me myself and i there we go what's the point the point is obama's lying trump was right time to take the next step let's see what happens if you've got an opinion write it next to the video if you like this share it with somebody um and uh don't forget to drink enough water today there you go uh, more information about what we do you'll find it at the top of the page um where is it up up, up there at the top www.nsa-slovakia.com uh, visit our youtube channel hundreds of videos and uh, keep in touch with us we will be back soon i hope just have to work out how to turn this off again i kind of just have to keep things running because um because what happens is is the live stream goes out slightly more slowly and I don't want to cut it out. Cut it up. Dot it up. Put it up.